Stand up like a mountain, have faith like a rock, love like an avalanche. It will be the people with the greatest love, not the most information, who will influence us to change. Embrace uncertainty. Some of the most beautiful chapters in our lives won't have a title until much later. Every day God invites us on the same kind of adventure. It's not a trip where he sends us a rigid itinerary, he simply invites us. God asks what it is he's made us to love, what it is that captures our attention, what feeds the deep indescribable need of our souls to experience the richness of the world he made. And then, leaning over us, he whispers, let's go do that together. The world will figure out what we really believe, by watching what we actually do. Selfless love is always costly, fear can't afford it, pride doesn't understand it and friends never forget it. Insecurity wants us to keep track of our failures, grace doesn't even write them down. Figure out what fuels your joy, then do lots of that. We won't be distracted by comparison if we're captivated with purpose. Don't let not knowing how it'll end keep you from beginning. Uncertainty chases us out into the open where God is waiting. Courage isn't the absence of fear, it's just deciding that fear isn't calling the shots anymore. God never said he'd eliminate all of the chaos from our lives, he just said he'd bring meaning to it. No one leads people to Jesus, he leads people to himself. All the pressure's off, just go love everybody without agenda. We won't be like Jesus if it's more important to us to be like each other. God doesn't compare what he creates. Our opinions are what we'll be known for, our love is what we'll be remembered for. The way we love people we disagree with is the best evidence of what we really believe. I used to be afraid of failing at something that really mattered to me, but now I'm more afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter. If we only do what we're familiar with, we might miss what we've been made for. God finds us in the holes we dig for ourselves. We see failures, he sees foundations. Don't save up love like you're trying to retire on it, give it away like you're made of it. I used to think I could shape the circumstances around me, but now I know Jesus uses circumstances to shape me. Being engaged is a way of doing life, a way of living and loving. It's about going to extremes and expressing the bright hope that life offers us, a hope that makes us brave and expels darkness with light. That's what I want my life to be all about, full of abandon, whimsy, and in love. I used to think that real love involved falling for someone, but now I think it usually involves standing for someone. Love God. Love people. And do stuff. That's my punch list every day. We can be the light of the world without leaving our high beams on and annoying everybody. We can't always see people's pain, they can always feel our love. Fix your eyes on Jesus, it's okay to stare. Courage doesn't mean we're not afraid anymore, it just means our actions aren't controlled by our doubts. God often waits until we're out of ideas before he lets us know his plans. He competes for our hearts, not our attention. Whatever you're aiming for, God's better. What distracts us will begin to define us. We don't need to swing at every pitch. 
The way we deal with uncertainty says a lot about whether Jesus is ahead of us leading, or behind us just carrying our stuff. I don't know every step I'm supposed to take. I think Jesus just wants me to take the next step. We don't really make friends, they make us. See people for who they're becoming, not who they were. Most people need love and acceptance a lot more than they need advice. There's a lot to be concerned about, there's more to be hopeful for. Love one another. We don't need more instructions, we need more examples. I used to think you had to be special for God to use you, but now I know you simply need to say yes. God isn't trying to make our lives easier, he wants to make them more meaningful. It will be more love, not more information, that will change our hearts. Stop doing what you're able to do and figure out what you were made to do, then do lots of that. Instead of closing our eyes and bowing our heads, sometimes God wants us to keep our eyes open for people in need, do something about it, and bow our whole lives to him instead. Loving people the way Jesus did, means living a life of constant interruptions. Bring it. Grace means we don't need to airbrush our lives to make them look like they're working. Stop telling people how far they have left to go. Instead tell them how far they've come. People who want to manipulate you will fear your joy, because it's not easily controlled. It has always seemed to me that broken things, just like broken people, get used more, it's probably because God has more pieces to work with. Most of our decisions are driven by either love or fear. Figure out who's doing the talking, then decide what you will do. Courageous people feel the same fear everyone else does, they just decide to not be afraid anymore. Love like there's no tomorrow, live like there's no yesterday. We're forgiven, now go love people like we believe it. God pursues us into whatever dark place we've landed and behind whatever locked door holds us in. He holds our unwashed and dirty hands and models how he wants us to pursue each other, and he says to ordinary people like me and you that instead of closing our eyes and bowing our heads, sometimes God wants us to keep our eyes open for people in need, do something about it, and bow our whole lives to him instead. I once heard somebody say that God had closed a door on an opportunity they had hoped for. But I've always wondered if when we want to do something that we know is right and good, God places that desire deep in our hearts because he wants it for us and it honors him. Maybe there are times when we think a door has been closed and, instead of misinterpreting the circumstances, God wants us to kick it down or perhaps just sit outside of it long enough until somebody tells us we can come in. No book is a chapter, no chapter tells the whole story, no mistake defines who we are. Hope makes our lives page turners. We need to make our faith our very own love story. Live your life like you're exactly who Jesus thinks you are. That's what love does, it pursues blindly, unflinchingly, and without end. When you go after something you love, you'll do anything it takes to get it, even if it costs everything. Grace means we can put the chalk away and stop keeping score. We determine how much influence we'll have, when we decide how available we'll be. The teachers I've learned the most from, didn't think they were teaching me, they just thought we were friends. I've learned that God sometimes allows us to find ourselves in a place where we want something so bad that we can't see past it. 
sometimes we can't even see God because of it. When we want something that bad, it's easy to mistake what we truly need for the thing we really want. When this sort of thing happens, and it seems to happen to everyone, I've found it's because what God has for us is obscured from view, just around another bend in the road. Failure is just part of the process, and it's not just okay, it's better than okay. God doesn't want failure to shut us down. God didn't make it a three strikes and you're out sort of thing. It's more about how God helps us dust ourselves off so we can swing for the fences again. And all of this without keeping a meticulous record of our screw-ups. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.